Hey guys, I'm Wilson. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use Photoshop to apply tip shift effect on the picture. Tip shift effect is the use of camera movements that change the orientation and the position of the lens with respect to the view or image sensors on camera. It can make the real world of the pictures look fake and like the artificial miniature model. To achieve this effect, normally you will need to buy a special lens with high price and you also need some photograph skill. But if you do it with Photoshop, it will be super easy and interesting. So to achieve this effect, what you have to keep in mind is the picture you choose must be lookable at an angle like 45 or 30 degree and uh, it was it has to be taken from a certain height. So I'm going to use the photo of New York Chinatown 3 as a sample and uh, you can see it was taken from high level with some angle. So this is how the original pictures looks like and then I will cover the pictures into smart object and then to make the object of the picture look a little bit smaller I will apply reduce noise to the picture just click filter noise and reduce noise and uh, uh, it can smooth off the edge and uh, some imperfection so it will be looks a little bit smaller and I will make the volume of strength to 10 volume of sharpen detail to 70 and the preset detail uh, reduced color noise to zero and then to make the picture has a has some plastic feeling i will apply the median to the picture you can just click filter noise and a median and uh, and just give the two pixel to the radiance and okay And then click on vibrance, make the vibrance and saturation to 40. And then I will apply blur filter to the picture. You can just click on filter and blur gallery and then click tip script. So you can see there is a pin in the center. It means the point to focus on and uh, you can move it to where you want to focus on by drop the pin uh, between the upper line and the lower line is the area to focus on and the focus will fade away upward and downward from the line until the bird is applied to 100% at the dot line and uh, you can also rotate it and after that I will change the volume of bird to 20 pixel and uh, distortion to 45 Remember to click the symmetric distortion so both of the foreground and background will be distorted. And if you move the volume of distortion to negative, you will see it is it will go up and left. But if you move the volume of distortion to positive, it will go up and right. But I don't want to make it too exaggeration, so I just keep it to 45. The effect is complete. You can just click OK. And thanks for your watching.